okay, literally, like, who am I in all this color? I'm trying to be springy. I feel like everyone's wearing so much color and I'm inspired. What do we think? I know it's like grandma vibes, like a little knit sweater, but I like it. Let me know if you do too. Okay, welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, so today we are talking all about my gluten-free diet. I talk about this a lot. I've done multiple videos on my channel about this topic and I actually do a what I eat a day on my story once a week, every Tuesday on Instagram. So if you guys like need some meal ideas, some inspiration, snack, dinner, all that, um, I do it every Tuesday and I have a ton of things saved to my highlights on my feed as well. So you guys can check that out if you need some info. But today I'm actually doing a video that's inspired by Harper's Bazaar's um, series that they do on their channel called food diaries and I know I'm not a celebrity but I wanted to talk about this because of the whole gluten freeness of it all this seems like a better format where I can share a lot of my favorites and just things that I love instead of being restricted to just like one day and showing you meals I think it'll be really informative and I hope you guys will like it I'm like have this vision in my head of what this video can be and I hope it comes out good because I love to talk about food let's go I might be here a while Okay, so let's say typical day during the week. I work from home like a lot of people are right now. I've worked from home for the past few years, but I try to only eat at home during the week. I avoid eating out as much as I can, maybe once or twice during like the work week, and I save kind of like those indulgent moments eating out on the weekend. Typical morning, I wake up, I have my coffee every single morning. I actually have two cups a day, and I drink my dad's coffee company. It's called Tiemann's Coffee, so it's a family business. It's low acid, and it has a ton of antioxidants. It doesn't give me crash or jitter or make me feel bad like I feel really great drinking it so I have that every single morning with a splash of almond milk a little cinnamon a little organic Ceylon cinnamon I heard that's like the best for you I don't know um, and then I do this vanilla almond creamer the natural bliss line from coffee mate that is my all-time favorite dairy-free coffee creamer nothing else compares let's skip to breakfast um, so for most of you guys that are coffee drinkers I'm sure you know that it kind of keeps you full for a little bit it holds me over so I don't eat breakfast as soon as I wake up I'm not really typically like super hungry in the morning anyways I kind of wait a few hours at least um, sometimes I wake up super hungry it depends on the day I used to do intermittent fasting but I just love breakfast so much so I didn't want to deprive myself from that anymore because I love to eat breakfast and it just brings me joy. So I'll have breakfast like a few hours after I have my coffee and I always go through phases with my meals, like for breakfast especially. I'm such a creature of habit. I will have the same breakfast like all week long for two weeks straight. Like I get obsessed with something. Like I have like an obsessive personality. I'm a Virgo here. So I like, if I like something, I really, really like it. Um, so some of those that like, kind of are on the rotation, um, I love eggs. Eggs are like my favorite thing. I crave eggs every single day. I don't eat them every single day. I kind of switch it up, but there's some times where I have like an over medium egg every single day during the week. Um, so I'll do just like an avocado toast with um, a fried egg on top. So everything but the bagel seasoning, some salt and pepper, a little mashed avocado, obviously. You've gotta mash your avocado in a separate bowl before you put it on your bread. It makes such a difference. I swear, it's like what the restaurants do. You put it on, you like spread it on with the fork, do the little fork lines. I don't know why it changes the game. You don't just squeeze it out or like scoop it out and put it on, no. You gotta mash it up and do it pretty it's just something about it I don't know um so for the toast that I'm eating I'm typically doing Canyon Bakehouse which is one of my favorites they have good sliced bread but for sliced bread my all-time favorite is Cook's Sourdough it is so good I think they have the best gluten-free sliced bread in the game and it's dairy-free soy-free nut-free all that so it's like all the top allergens are not on there Canyon Bakehouse um, I do the Mountain White or the multi-grain also have really amazing hamburger buns English muffins bagels I'll do a bagel every once in a while if I want something a little bit more substantial so those are like my favorite breads and that's what I kind of do for breakfast I typically just do one piece of toast with avocado and one egg and that's good for me or I'll do a green smoothie in the morning if I'm really feeling like I don't want to eat something sometimes I'm just really craving something hot um, and something like comforting so that's when I'll make an egg or I'll make oatmeal um, really love oatmeal I do the Bob's Red Mill gluten-free rolled oats or the zero degree organics I think it's called their rolled oats I love a good bowl of oatmeal not an overnight oat I do not like cold overnight oats I do not like ugh, I really hate them it's like something I despise them I don't know what it is I know they're so popular but I've like tried so many times to make them good Followed so many recipes and no, you cannot beat a hot bowl of oatmeal. Maybe some Greek yogurt and some berries and granola. I've been making my own granola with, with those same brands of oats that I mentioned with some almonds and I'm actually gonna put the recipe up soon on my blog so you guys will have to check that out. Um, so I'll do that with some berries 
or um, back to what I was saying about the green smoothie. So those are like my food options. It's typically what I do. I Those are like my favorite breakfasts, like easy during the week kind of breakfast. Um, but if I'm not doing that, if I want something lighter and if I'm trying to maybe kind of trim down, I'm trying to get back to doing my green smoothie every morning because I find that it really helps me trim down and I feel less bloated and I just feel really light and good when I'm doing my green smoothie every day. So I'm trying to get back to that now that we're getting into summer, I've actually gained a few pounds, you know, like we all did during the winter months and during quarantine. So I'm trying to get back to that, but I've been craving breakfast the last few days. So I've been eating breakfast, but that's fine. It's fine. Green smoothie that I do, I really love. It's really filling. I like feel like I'm on my routine when I'm drinking my green smoothie. It just makes me feel really good. It's just a handful of spinach, half a frozen banana, one scoop of vanilla protein powder. I use Stout Nutrition. They are small business, so support if you can. About like a spoonful of ground flax seeds, maybe ground chia seeds if I have them. A scoop of natural peanut butter. I love Santa Cruz. They're crunchy or they're creamy, both really good. And then, what am I forgetting? Oh, a scoop of my super greens powder. So that's kind of just like some extra greens. It doesn't have any taste and it just has like a ton of greens in it. So you feel like you're getting a lot of veggies. And then I finish it with almond milk. So that's the liquid base and it is so good. It tastes like a peanut butter milkshake. It is oh, everything. So you only need half a banana. Um, it has to be frozen. You've got to freeze your bananas. It makes such a difference. If it's not frozen, it's like becomes like frothy and not thick. If I don't have a frozen banana, I'm not putting it in my smoothie. So that's the tea on breakfast. So I am trying to eat lunch like a little bit later because I have been finding that if I eat lunch at like 12, which is my typical time, I am hungry like for another meal at like three o'clock and it's too early for dinner. It's like you can have a snack, but then I feel like I'm still hungry and then like it turns into me eating like four meals in one day and it's just like, it's too much, you know, especially when I, like I said, I'm trying to kind of lose some of that weight that I mentioned. I'm not obviously not doing it super aggressively. I never really do like an insane diet. I just try to eat lighter and more mindful and you know I never deprive myself I still have some sweets I still have some chips um, but I just try to um, not be eating so much like I just find that when I'm gaining weight it's because I'm eating like a lot I will try to wait until about one o'clock to eat lunch just to you know stretch it out a little bit longer and I've been on that schedule now so I'm getting used to it um, but for lunch I eat a lot of leftovers and I know that some people like despise leftovers I do not understand that I feel like you haven't gotten to the place to appreciate them yet. And I have a few little like tricks, not really tricks, hacks, not really hacks either, but things that I think can make your leftovers better. So I understand maybe some people don't like to eat the same meal like two days in a row. Like if you had pasta for dinner, you don't want pasta for lunch the next day. If you are like that, I don't mind having it the next day. So there are some times where I just literally eat the thing from the night before, or I kind of like turn it into something different. So for example, last week I had some chicken and some pasta salad. Like I made like a a Greek pasta salad with a Greek chicken for dinner. And I had the leftover chicken the next day and instead of eating it in the same way with the pasta salad, I turned it into a pesto chicken sandwich. So I just ate it in a different way and it felt like I was eating something brand new and I just had that ready and prepped for me in the fridge. So I had a lunch already like kind of planned out instead of having to make more chicken or like figuring out what am I gonna do. I personally always get creative with the leftovers. I will like totally reinvent them. I never like food to go to waste. If I have like a leftover ear of corn I will put it into a salad and I also find that the best way to eat leftovers is to heat them up on the stove and not heat them up in the microwave I just find that the microwave like destroys the food it gets soggy it gets like too overheated and it kind of destroys it so I feel like if you heat it up on the stove it just tastes so much fresher that way um so I know that we're like all about convenience here and maybe you're at work and I understand if you can't do that at work like obviously you have to microwave it but if you're at home and you have the option to heat it up on the stove and you have a few extra minutes definitely recommend it. I know it's tempting just to do that one minute on the microwave or two minutes, however long. So that's what I kind of do with leftovers. I know I mentioned the pesto sandwich. Um, I use the pesto from Costco. It is gluten-free and it is incredible. Kind of mix it with a little bit of mayonnaise and make like a spread. Oh my gosh. If you make that for people, they will think it's literally gourmet. It is so good. I want to do it with a grilled cheese soon, like a pesto grilled cheese. Oh, it just sounds incredible. It's like the best pesto. Moving on to lunches that maybe I'm making fresh instead of leftovers. I have been loving, I mean, I'm like obsessed with sweet potatoes and black beans. So that's like 
those are my two favorite things at the moment i eat black beans and i eat sweet potatoes so much so i love like a veggie bowl with maybe black beans sweet potato um, mushrooms broccoli you can do just a sheet pan of veggies get it prepped and then go back to work and then let it bake for however long it needs to bake and then your lunch is ready and you just kind of eat it all together you could do a little tahini so that's kind of something i've been doing a lot recently i find that i eat my first few meals like vegetarian not really on purpose but i just like to heat up a lot of veggies and eat that early in the day the meat kind of comes in when leftovers are in play because they're there and ready to be eaten um, it's just the veggie based meals are a little bit easier to prepare and get ready and they're faster instead of like you know cooking raw chicken or anything you know fresh i typically only have meat from like the night before or something that's already prepped for me but also something that i do with the sweet potatoes and black beans i have been loving a loaded baked sweet potato oh my gosh that is like one of my favorite things ever i've done it a few different ways and one ways with the black beans i just baked the sweet potato for about i think it's like 45 minutes maybe at like 375 or 400 i can't remember i'll put it up on the screen whenever i make black beans i add um, some green chilies in there it kind of just adds a little bit of spice i'll do some garlic powder some salt and pepper i'll put that all on the potato i'll do some avocado i'll do some crema oh my gosh it is so good um so that's kind of like one of my favorite things but another thing you can do is get some like pre-made chili one that i love that sadly i don't think is at trader joe's anymore because i believe it was a seasonal item um they had this harvest chili that was kind of the reason that i discovered this like loaded baked sweet potato situation i baked a sweet potato heated up this vegan chili that they had that was oh my gosh it's incredible i'm sure they have some type of pre-made chili there still um so you just heat it up on the stove because it tastes better and then you add it on to the sweet potato just kind of like a loaded baked sweet potato and then i will do some sour cream or some crema and then like some shredded mexican cheese oh my next level something about the sweet potato with everything it tastes so good so i do a lot of leftovers a lot of sweet potato a lot of black beans i'll even do like black bean burritos every once in a while and then what else do i do i love avocado toast i know i mentioned it for breakfast i feel like if you're somebody that loves to call avocado toast basic like you have issues like I just like it's it's good like I don't know what to tell you it is fire and I've been eating avocado toast like my entire life my mom loved avocado toast it's something I grew up eating and it's like now it's so trendy and I'm still eating it like sorry I'm not gonna change but I absolutely love it and there's so many ways you can eat it you can do it with an egg in the morning like I said but I have this one recipe that I do that I feel like I need to make a TikTok about it because it is so fire um so I just do like any toast that I have any of the toasts that I mention um I'll do the spread avocado you gotta mash it and put it on with the fork very finely chopped um tomato very finely chopped red onion cucumber and then some feta cheese and then you top it with obviously salt and pepper. The final thing that kind of brings it all home is a top with balsamic glaze. Oh my gosh, if you, it's literally incredible. I want everyone to try it. It is so good. If you guys try it, please let me know. All of those flavors combined with the glaze, like it just tastes so elevated and fancy and it only takes like five minutes because it's just avocado toast. Oh my gosh so good so i'll definitely do that for lunch every once in a while maybe i'll have like a cutie with it um some fruit i eat a lot of fruit or maybe some chips or some crackers whatever something crunchy on the side um that's kind of like a pretty standard lunch so those are i would say my go-to lunches at the moment I always have like a little snack before dinner. I love having carrots, hummus, um, cucumbers, a little something crunchy, maybe some nuts or some crackers, like a little snack plate. That's one of my favorite snacks. I love carrots and hummus. It's like, oh, it's my favorite. I love to get like the whole carrot and I peel it and chop it up. I don't know why it tastes better than like the baby carrots to me. I think it's the texture and they're super crunchy. <laughs> no, they're so good. I'll do hummus, some cut up carrots, Cucumbers are really good with hummus. Maybe I'll do something crunchy on the side like a little nut thin I love nut thins. I forgot to mention that for the lunch portion I will do like tuna and nut thins for lunch a lot. I love tuna. It's like one of my favorite things So nut thins i'll add to the little snack plate. I'll have them just as a snack I love them so much I literally need to like buy stock of the company because I have bought and eaten so many nut thins the past five years like they have saved my life i love the sea salt the plain ones the smokehouse if you want a little bit of flavor oh my gosh the smokehouse is so fire um the artisan nut thins are really great so i love all those those are fabulous and a great snack to add onto your snack board with some veggies it's like a little crunch maybe i'll do some almonds i love cashews as well but i also love potato chips like what can i say i think potatoes are my favorite food I try not to eat them a ton during the week because i eat fries on the weekend i eat hash browns on the weekend i love potatoes like oh my gosh i 
literally have never met a potato I didn't like. They are everything. So kettle cooked potato chips are my fave at the moment. They're gluten free. That whole brand is gluten free. I'm pretty sure they have a ton of amazing flavors. I've been eating the sea salt flavor this week because we have some and I just cannot stay away from the bag. They are so good. Um, so those are fire. Um, Quinn gluten free pretzels are an amazing snack. Also amazing addition to that snack board. Um, what other snacks do I like? There's these sweet potato chips that I get on Thrive. I can't remember what the name is called of the brand, but I'll put it up on the screen. Those are really good. It's such a great snack. It's like tortilla sweet potato chips, kind of like a little fusion of the two. And it's just a really good texture. It's not like that weird sweet potato chip texture that's like, you guys know what I'm talking about. Sweet potato chips are sometimes a little bit weird, but these are almost just like tortilla chips. Thin Stackers, the brown rice cakes from, I think it's Londonburg is the brand. Um, they're a little bit lighter than the thick rice cakes that are like literally make you choke because they're so dry. Um, these are thin little squares and I love to eat them with peanut butter and jelly. Do not sleep on it. They are so damn good. I do boysenberry jam. If you like boysenberry, please let me know because it is superior to all of the jams. I said it. Don't come for me. If you haven't had it, it's the best. Um, and then my natural peanut butter. And it tastes like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with a little bit of crunch. It is so good. So that's a good snack. Um, I feel like those are like my top most eaten snacks during the week. I actually have a whole IGTV on my Instagram that, I mean, does anyone even watch IGTV anymore? I don't think so. I did it a while ago that was like, a whole snack list like top gluten-free snacks that I love um, so if you want to see more about snacks if you like snacks like me go check that out it's like probably like less than 10 minutes I think now for dinner this category is gonna be a little bit difficult for me because like I mentioned I love to cook and I like trying new things I definitely have like my recipe rotation that I kind of keep in the back of my head if I don't know what to make like oh I'm gonna do tacos I'm gonna do shrimp bowls these shrimp Baja bowls that I do are next level they're like everyone's favorite I'm gonna be sharing the recipe soon I actually have it on my Instagram highlights if you want a more casual recipe I am gonna be breaking it down for a blog post really soon um, but it's shrimp black beans cilantro lime rice guacamole sour cream and some cheese oh my gosh the whole combination it's so good so that's like one of my classic recipes um i'll do chicken caesar salad i will do just like chicken and rice a lot of rice and um, salads and veggies and things like that um, i don't really eat a ton of red meat not really intentionally i just don't really i don't cook with it super often i would say i do fish more often chicken more often probably chicken the most um and what else? I said fish, seafood, uh, turkey, ground turkey. I'll do turkey burgers. I love that. Um, or like, I guess the only time I do like beef is in like maybe like a lasagna, like a bolognese sauce or um, pasta or something. But that's really it. I don't eat pork a ton either. I love trying things from Pinterest, from TikTok. I get so inspired, especially if there's like a cool gluten-free recipe. I love to make things. I just love to cook. So it's always fun to try new recipes. I like to make things from scratch and just, I like the easy quick meals too, but I find that cooking is just so therapeutic for me. I just vibe out. I put my speaker on, I play my country music. I always cook to country music. Do not come for me. I love country music, okay? Um, and then I maybe will have a glass of wine. Maybe once during the week, I don't drink wine a ton during the week I'll try to save that for the weekend um, just because I have been finding that I've been getting hung over recently and that's a new development for my age I have had like a handful of hangovers in my life and the last few times I've drank I had like two glasses of wine and I woke up with a headache the next day what that is like I've never felt older I was like wow this is the tide is turning I'm getting hangovers now this is not fun um, and you know, I just don't want to drink a ton anyways, but yeah, it's just like a vibe, you know, to cook. I'm going to just put a ton of my meals up on the screen. Um, so you guys can get some ideas. I do a lot of rice. Like I said, um, I have this garlic rice. It's incredible. I'll do that with like a chicken dish and then maybe a salad or some Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. Um, I have a really good chicken Caesar salad recipe that's on my Instagram, not my Instagram, on my blog. Sorry. It's all fully written out on my blog. And I have like my standard chicken marinade that I use for so many things on there too. I love pasta. I guess I should mention this for noodles. I really love um, the Delalo brand. They have a great gluten-free line, um, but I find that I prefer their penne, their um, little spirals. What is that called? I can't remember what they're called. You guys know what I mean. I'll put it up on the screen. Jeez, it's embarrassing. Um, and then their shells are really good. And then for spaghetti and fettuccine noodles and all that, um, Jovial is really great. And so is Berea. I know that's like the basic brand that you can get at any store. It's like you know, you can pretty much get it anywhere, but it's really accessible and really easy to find. So that's why I love it. They honestly have a great gluten-free line. The texture is incredible on the noodles and they're great. So I love pasta. I love all the carbs. Give me the carbs. I love them. 
I have a huge sweet tooth. I have this terrible disease where I want something sweet after every meal. I like, oh my gosh, it's a problem. I'm like, mm, what's for dessert? Literally like as I'm taking my last bite of dinner, it's so bad. I love sweets. For my favorite sweets during the week, I have like a healthy-ish dessert. I like to call it healthier than a bowl of ice cream because it's not like you're getting like vitamins and minerals and it's like incredible for you, but it's better than having like a whole bowl of dairy ice cream. You know what I mean? Um, so this dessert, I'm like, oh, it's so damn good. I just had it the other night. I do just some raspberries with some blueberries. A lot of the times I'll just do raspberries because I find that this works really well in this mixture with some dark chocolate chips and then a little whipped cream. And you just eat it like all in one bite. You get a raspberry, a little bit of whipped cream, a chocolate chip, and the combination is just heavenly. I don't know what it is I love it so much it like brings me joy it's so silly I love it so that's a good like healthy ish dessert for during the week some berries if you guys want to just do some fruit you can do that too I love the dark chocolate chips though they are I'm getting hungry you guys talking about all this food let's get in it's time for lunch around here <laughs> I love Tate's chocolate chip cookies oh they're so good if you haven't had them they have a good gluten-free line it's literally just tastes like the normal cookie in my opinion sweet lauren's makes incredible cookie dough oh my gosh they are vegan and gluten-free so you can eat the dough it's like my favorite to have it either way i love to eat the raw dough it's just like such an amazing treat or bake it and they're just incredible cookies the texture is perfect i actually think that they're sugar cookies are like the sleepers like those do not sleep on those on the weekend i like to do ice cream frozen yogurt all that i love ice cream yeah no i feel like i need to get ice cream this weekend boba oh my gosh boba is like a new obsession for me and marcus we had it so much last month like it was like i actually said we need to take a break because i don't want to get sick of it because we're eating it too much had it like a few times in one week and then like every weekend which is a lot for us because we don't do that typically so it was like oh my gosh it's so good i'll just get like a milk tea kind of thing or like a blended drink with the golden boba from this one place called ding tea oh my gosh it is fire if you have a ding tea near you go their boba is incredible so um that is really good i'm really passionate about sweets apparently i like to bake my own stuff too i don't know why i'm not thinking of that i like to bake i have a fire peanut butter cookie recipe that everyone goes ham for i make it on christmas thanksgiving for my nephew's birthday for my brother's birthday they all request it it is so damn good it's like a peanut butter toffee flourless butterless cookie it's insane the flavor they are so good i actually have that on my blog so make sure you guys check that out yeah so it's pretty easy to navigate these days because it's so much more accessible i feel like it's a great time to go gluten free um when i did i feel like it was just becoming a little bit more popular so it was getting easier for me um but i could imagine like maybe 10 years ago it was probably really hard to go anywhere to get anything because like ugh. It's now such a trend, which is great for us. It's great for us that it's a trend. So um, I feel like that's pretty much it. If you guys had any questions about anything I mentioned or if something I forgot to say, I, there's, I could literally go on all day because we spend most of our life eating food and I love to cook and I love to eat. So there's a lot that I could talk about. So I don't wanna talk your ears off, so I gotta let you go sometime. But I really love this topic. So if you guys like this video and wanna see more what I eat in a days or more videos of style where I'm just kinda of talking about my gluten-free diet, let me know, I could do a QA. and a If that's something you guys care about, should we do like a gluten-free Q&A? Is there enough questions to be asked? I don't know. Let me know, you guys. I hope you like this. And make sure you subscribe before you go. I would love to have you guys here. And like this video if you enjoyed it. All that. You guys already know the vibes. Comment, say hi. I'd love to talk to you guys. Follow me on Instagram if you didn't get that already from this video. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.